bottles. Hero had lost a few at the hideout, and I offered to go and search for them while he organized his You're equipment. So sweetheart, Kel. I should have never left the house that day. I wish I hadn't gone. Maybe their life would be a little bit more bearable. After a while, I managed to find them all. It wasn't long after I picked up the last bottle that I heard someone yelling. You're not listening to me! To my surprise, it was Aubrey and Mari. I don't know when they arrived. I hadn't even noticed them until Aubrey raised her voice. She seemed so upset. I think Mari was trying to reason with her. I don't know. I couldn't hear what they were saying. Hero has always told me that eavesdropping is rude, but I couldn't help it. The more Mari spoke, the angrier Aubrey became. It was worrying me. Sure, Aubrey had a bit of a temper at times, but this was new. Suddenly, Mari got closer to Aubrey. I would learn soon after that she was offering Aubrey a hug. Aubrey then shouted three simple words that I'm certain still haunt her to this day. I hate you! My stomach dropped. I looked for a few more seconds before realizing that Aubrey wasn't moving and Mari had resurfaced. I wanted to do something. I wanted to help. Come on, Aubrey! Snap out of it! Help her! She didn't even glance up or acknowledge my presence. And as they got closer, her eyes stayed glued to the water. Why aren't you moving? This is serious! She stared at me, mortified. I tried to reach Mari, but my arms were too short, and I couldn't see anything. Are you even listening to me? What's wrong? <gasps> It was no use. We sat together staring at my hands. Aubrey held on to me and sobbed, swearing to me that she didn't mean to do it, and that she didn't mean for any of this to happen. Neither of us knew what to do, so we promised to act as if nothing happened. I knew it would be hard, but I did it for her. The walk back home was harrowing. I couldn't stop thinking about Mari. I felt so sick. Hero didn't know why I was crying when I came back, but he comforted me regardless. I was scared. It didn't take long for people to notice Mari was gone. Sonny became concerned and his parents quickly filed a missing persons report. Search parties were organized and sent out that same day. I had to lie. I had to lie about hope to everyone. I had to pretend that we're still a possibility of finding her safe and sound. It felt so wrong. It took three days to find her. The authorities concluded that she did it on her own accord. Basil shielded Sunny from it all. He refused to let him see Mari in the state she was in. Hero wailed. It tore me to hear him cry, his views, his butterfly, taken from him too soon. As for Aubrey, I don't know what she saw. I don't know how she was handling all of this. I hoped to be able to comfort her somehow, but the opportunity never came. And I haven't seen her since. <laughs>